Hey everybody, it's Kate Lanigan McGregor here with Soul Sunday and I am a few hours late, I'm sorry. I think I threw out a, a message letting you know I'd do it later today. So anyways, I had the opportunity to go out on the boat with my family and it was fun, it was wonderful and I'm a little sunburned. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was your words and, and the power of your words and uh, what those words can mean. And I'll tell you what started me thinking about this was uh, language and, and how we choose the words that we say. Hey Donna, how are ya? So, and then started thinking about, you know, when somebody teases and somebody is sarcastic and how, you know, to me, when somebody is teasing or sarcastic, how, you know, that is number one, it's, it's, it's not funny. You know, it, it is damaging. Hey Sarah, and it is, and number two is it feels to me sometimes like a coward's way of saying something that you want to say. So then I started thinking about you know how do we communicate and and how could I kind of suggest some some things that, that, that are on my mind. Okay. So the first thing that I said in the in the saying was say what you mean, mean what you say, don't say it mean, but say it. Okay. So if there's something that's on your mind and you don't tell that person. How you're feeling then guess what they may not know and so if you make a joke about it or you tease them about it or you kind of are innuendo about it um, you know what that's not communication and that's not the best way to communicate it with them you know speaking with them directly may get you the best results however that being said there's been times that I have said something and, or there's something that's on my mind so I, I talk to the person about it and I totally don't get the response that I want like they, they just don't get what I'm trying to say. And, and so, you know what? I can't help what they say back. But now at least it's not, you know, a knot in my stomach. It's not growing legs in, in my stomach. It's not poisoning me. So try to use your words careful, carefully. Try to think about when you're teasing or you're being sarcastic is, you know, would it be better to just say it directly and say it with either care or love or, or compassion? And um, anyway, so that's kind of where I was gonna go this morning with this. And then as I went out with my kids, and again, it was, you know, with my husband and my kids and stuff, and there's tons of sarcasm and teasing going on. And, and nobody is really communicating in the way that I was gonna talk about this this morning, which was, you know, being open about things, coming from a position of I, always trying to like, like use your words in your communication for good, you know. And I'm listening, going, I am just so in la la land, and you know, I just I need to get a grip. So then I started thinking about, you know, my daughter just had some great grades in nursing school, and so you know, my first thing to her was, you know, do you want to be a doctor, you know, or my son's doing well in his school, and I'm like, you know, trying to take it to the next level. So what I'm trying to communicate to them is that I'm proud of them and that you know the sky's the limit on what they can do. But what they can be hearing is that what they're doing is still not good enough. Again, so try to be clear with your words and your communication on what it is you're trying to say. And making sure that in that kind of situation, because as I said, like I, I was trying to say it one way and I realized how it was sounding was the other way. Okay, so anyways, um, so how does this have to do with Soul Sunday? It has to do with Soul Sunday in a way of just being true and authentic to yourself and remembering that the words that you use, the way that you express yourself, the bravery that it takes sometimes to tell somebody how you're feeling or ask questions that you need to ask is just such a big part of feeling good and being comfortable in your own skin. And that's what I want for you and that's what I want for me and that's what I want for my kids, you know. So I want people to be able to express, even if they feel like it's not gonna be comfortable, from a true heart-centered place, you know, what's going on. And again, not having to feel like you have to, you know, make a joke about it and hope they get it, you know, and you know, because all bets are off on that, you know. And again, remembering when you say something, like you can't, you can't choose their outcome. Has anyone ever done this? Gone like, well, then I said this, and then he's gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this, and he's gonna say this, and I'm gonna say, and I'll, already you have the whole entire outcome planned. And by and large, it doesn't go that way. Anyway, so my Soul Sunday just has to do with thinking about your words, knowing that your words have power, and I'm gonna put a couple quotes up 
shortly that I thought were kind of um, in line with this, okay? So make it a bold day. I'll see you next Soul Sunday. And um, be true, be bold, be awesome, be you. I stole that truth from somebody else.